Hey, welcome to the channel. So today we are going to look at an update to a blog post I had written way back in 2019. It's about writing a Spark data frame to an elastic index. So I kind of revisited this and realized that the official documentation is still not that good on it. So I thought maybe it's worthwhile updating it with the latest Spark version and uh, I think even the Elasticsearch Hadoop uh, dependency has been updated. So let's get to it. So let's see. The way I had done this earlier was list a bunch of dependencies. So we had the Spark, the HTTP client and Elasticsearch Spark. So we're going to take the latest Spark. I already have it over here. It's uh, going to be the 2.12 Scala version and it's 3.1.1 and the corresponding elastic search spark version would be it is 30 because it's spark 3 and 12.2.12 is the scala version that is compiled with and this version 7.2.1 uh, matches my elastic search version so for this video i've set up elastic search with the docker so docker ps here you can see it is running and it is the 2.12.1 version now it's quite simple to do this i just went to the elastic website and there are just two commands i'll link the i'll link to the elastic website as well as put the commands in the description just to show you that elastic is working i use this plugin firefox plugin elastic view so as you can see, I have it running on localhost, and right now I have no indices. One node is up. Okay, so let's get to the code. Let's have a new the Maven setup here. Let me just get to the palm. So I've already added the Spark one. Let's see up here. So it should be. Let me go ahead and add the Elasticsearch dependency. Let's copy paste. We select it, indent it. Okay. And now, what else do we need? We'll talk about the configs. So I realized that when I did this, it's kind of hard coded inside your code. So it is definitely difficult to test this. So we're going to pass this config from externally, just like we did with the master switch. We can use the conf switch and pass the elastic search specific stuff from outside. So then we can test in different environments. And this property is still needed right so kind of confusing i had to read up on this again so by default i guess what this dependency wants to do it tries to go and discover all the elastic nodes but when you're running on aws you just have one link to elastic or even right now when we're running on docker we just have one link to the elastic server so we don't want that to happen because it causes it to fail so as far as this tutorial is concerned we are going to have to set this property again okay let's get to the code let me just copy paste this i'll create the same case class again so i'm gonna go ahead and get the case class in what's next mm. let me go ahead and create the spark session now Okay. Spark session dot builder. I'm just going to do get to create. And then I guess I'm going to. 
this is Spock. Implicit. Oops, let's do that. And now I can copy paste this with some of the documents. We are going to index. Okay, that's done. Then let's copy paste this. Huh. So my internet is kind of bugging out today and it refused to pull in that Maven dependency. But now it's solved, so I should be able to do. Yeah. Plastic search dot spark dot SQL dot underscore. Yep. And then so now I can go ahead and index documents dot save to ES and I just keep it the same like it was in the blog post. Mm -hmm. Okay. So one more thing we need to add over here is the Maven assembly plugin because we're using a third party dependency, namely the Elasticsearch Hadoop. Uh, we want to create a jar that has all these dependencies. Uh, there probably is another way to do it. You could pass your jars in the command line, but I find this approach is much simpler. It's just one artifact that I have to, you know, think about. So I've gone ahead and added this assembly plugin. Now we'll go ahead and do a Maven clean package. Okay, now we'll execute it with Spark submit again. So you have the master local switch then i have a switch for my es nodes which is local host the port which is 9200 i've set the this van property again because we are using a, a docker image to test this out against and that is not our jar name right what is it called yep that's the jar name enter Looks good. No, it failed. Class not found. Elastic com packages. Yes, we ran the incorrect one. So, my bad. We had to run the Java dependencies. Let's do it again. Lots of things happening. Yes, and it's done. Let's quickly go back to this elastic view indices. And now you see, we have a demo index, click it and everything's here. So now if I go back to my blog post, for some reason at this time, I had to add the HTTP client, but now it worked without the HTTP client. If I go over here, if you see the only dependencies that are there are the Spark and the Elastic Search. So that is because I'll show you how to check your Maven dependencies. Now we're going to check uh, why we did not need that HTTP client. So this is a very useful Maven command. So in general, when you're doing Java programming, you add one jar dependency, but that jar pulls in another jar and that may have another dependency and it can be a dependency nightmare like so this is an you should know how to you should know how exactly this is working and how to resolve issues when you get it so this is a good way to check who is pulling in what dependency 
okay and now let me just scroll up let's do a search http there you see it so we have http client and if you notice it is part of our spark sql so that's why we don't need it right now and it works so that's it that was a quick update i hope you liked it thank you